Hey there. So, uh, just doing a little side project here. Um, I've done all, pretty much all the rigging that I wanted to do, uh, of the running rigging to get all my lines aft into the uh, cockpit. But I noticed that when I go to raise the main sail, it gets hung up. Um, it doesn't, uh, it's not easy to get up. It's, it's never been really easy, but it's been, it's easier to do when you're at the mast pulling on the line. Um, but when you're in the cockpit and pulling it through a series of uh, blocks and stuff that I have going back to the cockpit, it's just like oh, doubly as hard to do. And I can't, couldn't figure out why that was the case. Um, I mean, there's, there's not a lot of twist and turns that that line has to make, that halyard has to make to, to raise that main. But I was looking at my track, sail track, and see if you can see this here. Um, it's basically this uh, extruded piece of aluminum that's pop riveted on. And the face of this thing has been really corroded. And I was talking to uh, Mike, uh, Baker, fellow sailor here on the dock, and we were looking at it, and and he acknowledged that uh, yeah, there was definitely a lot of corrosion there. And wh what could be happening is the head plate of the main sail, uh, obviously, is where you attach the the halyard to. Uh, it wants to when it's when you're raising the main and you're pulling on that halyard, it wants to kind of. Uh, go towards the mast. So what it's happening, and, and I tested this and observed it, so the, the head plate and the head of the sail is pushing into that track and rubbing against the track and all that corrosion. And that's what was making it difficult to pull f up, I think. So we're gonna find out. So what I wanted to do was to get rid of that corrosion. And here you can see now, um, See if you can see that. It's pretty smooth. If you look at the side of the tractor there, you know, it's there's a lot of corrosion there on the paint and bubbles and stuff. And that's the way it was pretty much up the length of the entire track. So what I did is I put together this little mechanism here. It's a, uh, a handheld pad sander. Uh, you put sandpaper behind there. And uh, so basically what I did is I, I took a West Marine, and I'll show some inserts of some details of that, but an, uh, a West Marine mixing stick that has a bevel on it, it's plastic, and I drilled a couple holes in it, drilled a couple holes here in this sat pander, and you can see I got some bolts running through, so I basically put that mixing stick with the bevel side facing outward into the track and attached the sanding pad to it so that it was uh, would basically follow the track up and, and apply a bit of tension uh, of the sandpaper against the track. As you can see, it's pretty stiff in there. And then I just put my main halyard and a spare line, main halyard on the top part, and I'd pull it up and the this other line to pull it down and just kind of work my way up. And let's see if I can show you uh, hands-free how that would work. Um, so basically pulling up on the main halyard, pulling down on the, the down line, down haul, I guess, if you will, and just kind of work my way up the mast. And now I have a pretty smooth, I've done this one time, maybe I'll do it a second time here, and basically just get a nice, safe or smooth surface on the face. Now ideally, I would like to get the side edges done too. So what I, I was thinking before I put this together, I was, I tend to overcomplicate things and I was thinking about making a sanding block that contoured to the track here out of some, uh, that high density foam that I've been working with uh, uh, for my bilges and so forth and uh, putting, you know, applying some Velcro on that and then some sanding pads on it and basically be same idea with the 
with the track insert that I made out of that mixing stick and just have it go up and do the sides. I may still do that, but before I do that, I'm gonna run this up one more time and then test it to see if the main uh, can be raised any easier than it was before. And if that seems to work, then I think I've got the problem solved. Then my next thing is just to kind of figure out, maybe apply some kind of uh, barrier, uh, silicon barrier, uh, or something that I can rub on the face of that track uh, as lubricant, and also just to kind of protect the bare aluminum. Uh, so anyway, that's that project. So far, this, so good. Uh, inside of the track for that sander that I showed you. Basically what this is, uh, is a mixing stick, a West Marine little plastic mixing stick. It's got the bevel, rounded bevel on the top and uh, the straight bevel on the bottom. So basically I put that in the track and attach the sander pad to it. And the reason why I wanted that bevel is just because I'm sure that the inside of the track is not entirely uh, corrosion free either. So yeah, it worked out perfect. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try raising this main, see what we get. Okay, just getting ready to raise that main, but I, before I do that, I just wanna show you. So here's the very tip of the head of the sail at the uh, head plate there. And you can see where the sail has been rubbing on that track. So that's what we're going to see if this is resolved. All right, so I just hoisted the mainsail. And I did that from the cockpit. And so much easier. It's still a little, a little tough, but it always has been. So it's probably a variety of things there that I think have very little to do with the way that I've got the uh, the line run from from the mast uh, step back into the cockpit, uh, it's I think it's the track itself, it's uh, the bronze uh, slugs that are going into the track, um, corrosion inside the track, so on and so forth. So, but basically, the main issue uh, was resolved just sanding that surface down. So. I call that a win, and uh, pack this sail away and move on to another project. Bye.